Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Samsung 974 Plus. It's the 2TB version with speed up to 3500 MB per second. So I'm going to take it out of the box, then plant it inside of this very new super fast mini gaming PC and then I'm going to make some speed tests and I'm going to show you the result of course. By the way, it looks like this package comes with this seal here, very important. So if you bought new and paid full price, make sure that you have this seal in place. So we are cutting this open now. Let's see how we get it. Comes with a decent protection. So I can grab it here. What's really cool is that it's protected from both of the sides. I've never seen that before. This can definitely protect the sensitive parts against some uh, electric discharge. I love it. Yeah, I guess there's a reason why we are buying Samsung. Here's some instructions manual, but I mean, I don't need that. So let's carefully open the lid. This is always very important, especially if you have some light or so. No matter if it's a full size PC or mini PC or whatsoever. In a lot of situations you will have some connecting cables like here. And what's awesome with this mini PC is that we have really two slots. So I have already my pre-installed window, which I took from another PC, another computer where I have already set up the windows and it works really just by switching this M2 SSD from the other computer into here. But I wanted to have more storage, so I removed that here. It's important to properly align it because there's a short part here and a long part. So we align it and push it here inside. And so we push it down, make sure you are not dropping the screw. And so we put it back here, I think it's not properly aligned. Now it's better. So that was it, and now we have two terabytes and two terabytes for terabytes in total. Awesome little PC, especially if you want to add a lot of space. So also be careful when you push it down, not to squeeze anything. And I've been super excited what I can do, what I can see here after rebooting my PC. But instead I was super disappointed because I couldn't see the new space, new hard disk. So what's the problem? If your SSD is coming new, not formatted, no, nothing has never been used. You need to give uh, the Windows system a little bit of information. And this can be done with the disk management or the disk partitioning tool. So hit the window key and then type disk PA. And so it will show you as best match, create and format hard disk partition. So click in this area here. And then it will show the disk management tool. It will take a little bit to show all the information. And so after a couple of seconds, he came up with the information about the existing disks and it has found the new disk. And it asked directly if you want to initialize this disk and show this disk, which is the Samsung, of course. And what you choose usually is the GPT and you click on OK. It will usually still show the disk one unallocated. So you have to click here again. And so it will come up with a dialogue and you can click on new simple volume, new simple volume wizard, click on next. It will usually automatically identify the size, click on next again. And so you can click here and then you can choose a network drive letter which you want and then click on next again and then you have to check the file system. Usually it's automatically you can give a name to the hard disk drive Samsung Evo 970. We click on next and next again. And then you get the final dialogue and the supporter which was on site here has been choosing uh, not to format the disk and it led to some problems. So the best option here is to format the disk because there's nothing on it anyway. But the supporter I had on site was clicking on cancel. You can see that here. He clicked on cancel. 
but the Windows 11 was showing the Samsung Evo 970 anyway here in the file explorer but when I rebooted the system it was saying fixing C why C I mean C is the existing uh, drive I don't know why but probably it was because the Samsung Evo was not formatted so I highly recommend to choose format it took me then about 15 minutes till this check was finished and everything was working and so here we have the test results the first thing is the crystal disk mark a really dedicated test for this ssd and then i have made a complete user benchmark test for this mini pc including the new ssds so maybe it's showing a little bit more the real results in in real normal life and so this is what i have i go on top here you can even see the url this is not a private personal thing this is totally public so you can see also my configuration what's in my pc here the processor and the graphics card but what's interesting here are the drives i have the acer two terabytes which is not an old one and actually a pretty fast one at least i've been thinking so far and here we have the new samsung 970 evo plus you can see the difference i mean for some reason it's saying performing below expectations but sometimes i have the impression that these are not really good descriptions so for me when i find something here then usually it's pretty good we get also confirmation here in the bench tab it's saying 322 percent outstanding compared to the 21 percent only of the acer and again this is not a slow one actually also pretty fast ssd you can see also comparison between these two ssds regarding sequential uh, reading writing reading 2400 writing almost same thing then random also very high and deep q4k also very high ratings here especially compared to this one here see everything green so looking really really good for me i have tested already many such ssds and this is one of the best results i've ever seen in the user benchmark then let's go to the dedicated test and we can see we have reading numbers of up to almost 3600 and we are using large files that's awesome of course goes a little bit down when you are using smaller files and here the writing 3262 that's an awesome number here that's really really great yeah definitely fastest ssd i've ever tested and so i can give you a full recommendation and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and already try from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time